Welcome back. I'm here today with a 2022 Chevy Bolt EV. We're gonna do a complete zero to 100% DC fast charge recording, and as always, make some charts. We'll analyze the heck out of it and see just how good or how bad of a DC fast charging electric vehicle the Chevy Bolt is. But first, please don't forget, click that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming content here on State of Charge. Okay, so before we jump into the DC fast charge recording, I wanna talk a little bit about the Bolt DC fast charging capability. The Bolt is limited to 55 kilowatt of DC fast charging power. It actually is one of the slowest charging electric vehicles you can get today. Now there's a few EVs that accept less than 55 kilowatt, but they have small battery packs. The Bolt has a large 66 kilowatt hour battery pack. With a battery of that size, you really should have faster DC fast charging. I really do like the Bolt EV. I've recommended it to friends of mine. But I wouldn't recommend it to somebody that does frequent long road trips because it's going to take a long time to DC fast charge, whereas there are other EVs that are similarly priced that can charge much faster. So if you're going to be getting an EV and you think you're going to need to do a lot of road trips that cover hundreds of miles, you might not want to look at the Bolt. The Bolt's a great EV if you're primarily going to be charging at home. And quite honestly, home charging is really the most convenient way to recharge your EV. And it's the least expensive. When you charge at home, you're gonna pay less than what you will when you charge on the road. Most people only wanna charge at DC fast chargers when they have to, when they're on long road trips. Now, when you do charge your EV at home, you wanna make sure that you have good charging equipment and that it's installed properly. The Bolt EV, the 2022 Bolt EV and EUV, comes with free standard installation of your home charging equipment. It comes with the car. Now that's for a limited time. Chevrolet hasn't announced exactly how long this special is gonna run for, but if you get a Bolt or EV or EUV now, it comes with complimentary installation of your home charging equipment. Standard installation, if you have a very complex job, you'll have to pay the difference of what a standard installation is compared to what your particular home uses. And General Motors has partnered with Qmerit for this home installation offer. Qmerit's also a sponsor of my channel here, and I partnered with them recently because they really are the installation professionals for home charging equipment, home energy storage, solar electric, whatever you really need in your home electric-wise, Qmerit is there to do the installation. And I bring this up because I know a lot of people like to do their own installation of home electric charging equipment. There's a lot of people that are do-it-yourselfers. I'm a do-it-yourselfer. I like to do whatever I can myself at home. But the one thing I urge people not to do is install your home electric vehicle charging equipment. And that's because your EV charging equipment is going to draw a lot of power, more power than the rest of your house is actually consuming. And it does that for many continuous hours. And quite often it's overnight when you're sleeping, the worst time to have some kind of a problem. So if you are getting an electric vehicle, I urge you to get a qualified licensed electrician to have your home electric vehicle equipment installed. And you can start with Qmerit. The link is in the description of this video. They'll give you a free estimate to install your home charging equipment. Of course, if you get a 2022 Bolt EV or EUV, you don't have to pay anything because it comes with the car. So anyway, let's jump now into the DC fast charge recording and we'll see just how long it takes to charge the Bolt EV on a DC fast charger. After one minute, the Bolt is pulling 40 kilowatt, a fair amount less than its maximum charge rate of 55 kilowatt, but the pack voltage is very low, so it may actually be calling the maximum amount of amps or close to it. The charge rate slowly begins to climb, and after 10 minutes of charging, we're at 10% state of charge. In fact, the Bolt EV continues to add about 1% state of charge for every minute of charging, all the way up to 70 minutes of charging and 70% state of charge. 
Now after 33 minutes of charging, the Bolt has now reached the highest charging power we're going to see in this charging session, which is 49 kilowatt. Now it holds the 49 kilowatt power draw until the Bolt is about at 41% state of charge. And that's when it begins the long, gradual decrease in power throughout the rest of this charging session. Now I'm going to speed up the recording now even more because of how slow the Bolt EV charges from this point on. It takes 47 minutes of charging for the Bolt to reach 50% state of charge. And we've now added back 130 miles of driving range. After one hour of charging, the Bolt is at 63% state of charge and is now charging at a paltry 37 kilowatt. Seriously, GM, 37 kilowatt and the Bolt isn't even at 65% state of charge? That's terrible for a 65 kilowatt hour battery pack. The BMW i3, for instance, has a much smaller battery pack and can charge at just under 50 kilowatt all the way up to 80% state of charge. Jim is really being ultra conservative with the Bolt's DC fast charging rate, and that hurts when Bolt customers want to go on a long road trip. It takes a staggering hour and 20 minutes to hit 80% state of charge, which adds back a little over 200 miles of driving range and 100 minutes to reach 90% state of charge. And the full zero to 100% charging session takes two hours and 13 minutes to complete. And the Electrify America charging station has dispensed just under 70 kilowatt hour to replenish the 65 kilowatt hour battery pack with the additional five kilowatt hour lost to charging inefficiencies. Well, thank God for time lapse that you guys got to watch that really quickly. I had to stand there for over two hours and press the reset button on the Electrify America DC Fast Charge Station every 60 seconds to refresh the screen so I could capture all of the data of that charging session. So one thing that's interesting, you notice that the most we reached was 49 kilowatts of power, even though the Bolt EV is supposed to max out at 55 kilowatt. And I actually got close to 55. I think 54 is what I maxed out with. When I did a DC fast charging session on my friend's 2017 Bolt EV that just had the battery pack replacement under warranty with GM. I had that recording here on State of Charge. It's still available if you want to watch it. And the interesting thing about that is in that recording, we actually pulled higher power earlier on, uh, but then it tapered off sooner. So we actually finished up a little bit quicker in this charge recording, even though we only drew 49 kilowatt as the maximum power, and in the other recording, we pulled well over 50 kilowatt for a long time. So it's interesting how these charge curves work. Every DC fast charging session you do is going to be slightly different, but the overall time should be relatively close to what you experience unless the charging station has derated power or maybe the battery pack's too cold to accept the full power, and that's gonna make it longer. The EVs are gonna take a little bit longer to charge in the winter months if you live in a northern state because when the battery pack's colder, it does take longer to get those electrons pumped into there. So what we're gonna do now is take a look at this charging session on paper. Uh, first, we're gonna take a look at the charging power chart, which has the full charging curve of the vehicle. We're gonna take a look at how that looks before we jump into the time to charge chart. But for now, let's take a look at the charging power chart. All right, so as you can see, right after we plug in, it jumps up to a little over 40 kilowatt and it starts to creep up, but then we have a little dip here and it kind of regains, but then for another couple of minutes, the charge rate lowers again until about the 17% state of charge point. Then it starts that gradual climb all the way up to the highest power it draws, which we saw was 49 kilowatt, and that happened somewhere around 41% state of charge. And at that point, it starts that long, gradual, almost perfectly linear slope down till about 92% state of charge when it really starts to ramp down the charging power. I mean, this is, you know, clearly a very conservative 
DC fast charging strategy for General Motors. And it may be because of the problems they've had with the LG Cam battery packs. I think they've adjusted the uh, charging curve. They've actually made it even more conservative. I've charged Bolt EVs before when they first came out and the charging was a little bit better than this. I, I remember finishing up probably 20 minutes sooner than what it takes now. So I think they massaged this charging curve a little bit now and uh, you know are erring on the side of caution and being a little bit more conservative. I mean, it doesn't bode well for Bolt owners that want to go on road trips. But as we've said before that the Bolt's a great EV. It's just not a great road tripping EV because as you can see here, it just does not take in power fast enough to really you know get off the highway, charge for a little bit and continue your road trip. You're there for a really long time, uh, you know, well more than an hour. And if you really want to get the thing close to being fully charged, you're, you're going to be at nearly two hours. And that's just not convenient on a long road trip. And uh, well, you know, it is what it is. The Bolt's a great little runaround EV. It just doesn't do road tripping very well because of its inability to take in a lot of power in a short period of time like most other EVs today can. Well, it didn't look any better on paper than it did watching the time-lapse video, did it? You know, the Bolt EV isn't a great DC fast charging electric vehicle, but I guess I don't have to continue to say that in the video. You get the point. Uh, now we're gonna take a look at the time to charge chart, which I think is actually the most important one because quite honestly, people really don't care if it's pulling 50 kilowatts or 80 kilowatts or 100 kilowatts. What they really care about is how long does it take me to add back miles? How long do I have to stay at this charging station to get 100 miles or 200 miles or a full battery pack? That's what we're gonna take a look at now in the time to charge chart. On the time to charge graph, we have the time in minutes on the x-axis and the state of charge on the y-axis. You can see we reach 100% state of charge in 133 minutes as depicted in the time-lapse video shown earlier. What you really like to see on this graph is an aggressive vertical climb up to about 80% state of charge at which time the curve tapers off and becomes more horizontal as the charging rate slows down from 80% to 100%. But here with the Bolt EV, the vehicle charges so slowly that the entire charge curve advances more horizontally than it does vertically. And the full 100% charging session takes more than two hours to complete. Now let's look at how long it takes to add back 100 and 200 miles of driving range. I typically use two different figures for this, the EPA range rating and also the results of my 70 mile an hour highway range test. However, with the Bolt EV, we have the rare occurrence of both of those numbers being the same. The EPA rated range for the 2022 Bolt EV is 259 miles per charge, and I finished up my 70 mile an hour highway range test after driving 260 miles. And unfortunately, I ran out of charge one mile from the charging station and needed to be towed. It was actually the first time that ever happened on one of my range tests. If you wanna check out that whole range test video, it's on the Inside EVs YouTube channel. So with the EPA range figure basically being the same as my range test results, let's see how long it takes to replenish 100 and 200 miles during this charging session. We needed to reach 38% state of charge to have added back 100 miles of driving range. We did that in 36 minutes. And then we added back 200 miles at the 76% state of charge point. And the Bolt EV needed one hour and 15 minutes or 75 minutes to accomplish that feat. I should note that an hour and 15 minutes is the longest it's ever taken me on any DC fast charge test to replenish 200 miles of range. Now for comparison, the fastest charging time I've ever seen to add back 200 miles was with the $169,000 Lucid Air Dream Edition range. And it was able to add back 200 miles in an incredible 12 and a half minutes. Now finally, I like to talk about how many miles of range the vehicle adds back from zero to 80%, and then also from 80% to 100%, really to demonstrate how ineffective it is to remain plugged into a DC fast charge station past 80%, unless you really need to, because the charging rate pretty much on all electric vehicles slows down dramatically after 80%. Now the Bolt EV adds back 2.57 miles of range for every minute charging from zero to 80%. And then from 80% to 100%, the charging rate drops to exactly one mile of range added for every minute of charging.
All right, so as you can see, a little bit less than 40 minutes to add back 100 miles of driving range and, you know, <laughs> over an hour to add back 200 miles. Not great, uh, but it's doable if you need to do a road trip every now and then with a Bolt EV. It's okay, you know, you can manage. It's just probably not advisable to get a Bolt EV if you frequently have to do road trips that cover hundreds of miles. You're going to be sitting at DC fast chargers for a long time. Two and a half miles of range added for every minute of charging. That's really slow in comparison to most electric vehicles out there today. And geez, when you get up over 80%, it's a mile a minute. So it's pretty, <laughs> pretty long. But, uh, you know, as I said earlier, the Bolt EV is still a really good electric vehicle. And the price point that it's at with the plus uh, General Motors covers the installation of your home charging equipment, it really is a good deal. Most people don't need to drive hundreds of miles frequently. And, you know, if it's once every month or two, you know, you're visiting grandma and she lives 500 miles away and you got to stop once or twice along the way, it's not the end of the world. It's just, you probably don't want to have to do that frequently. Uh, but for home charging, if you have the ability to charge the bolt at home, you plug in every night, every morning you wake up with, you know, over 200 miles of driving range, the, the Bolt EV can handle the driving needs of, you know, 95 plus percent of Americans. But uh, in any event, that's a wrap on our DC Fast Charge video here for the 2022 Chevy Bolt EV. Uh, if you like what we're doing here on State of Charge, please don't forget to click that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. You can give us a like on this video too. That helps YouTube recommend the video to others. And uh, as always, thanks for watching and hope to see you again.